Hi friends! So today is Thanksgiving! Well, when I'm filming, it's Thanksgiving. When I'm recording, it's December 4th. But that's okay. I'm staring at myself in the viewfinder because I don't have like a mirror in front of me. I'm at my mom's house doing this also because Thanksgiving. And yeah, I'm I'm making it work. I'm making it work, okay? If you see me keep, that doesn't make any sense. If I keep bending over, it's because my backpack is on the ground because all of the surfaces that we have to like put things on are being used for food. So yeah, I can only store things in and out of my backpack for this. So that's what I'm doing. So I wanted to talk to you guys about how American Thanksgiving is a hella scam. And first, I just want to point out that if you're an American adult and you don't already know this, like, shame on you. You need to do research about the country that you live in, okay? Like, you can't just go your whole life believing everything everyone tells you because people lie all the time. People lie very often, okay? So, anyways, if you know anything about other countries and their holidays, Canada, for example, they celebrate Thanksgiving around when America is celebrating Halloween towards the end of October. And that makes sense because that's when the last harvest is. America celebrates Thanksgiving around November, like the third week of November or something stupid that doesn't make any sense. And the lie that they told everyone was that the pilgrims came over on Plymouth Rock and um, they discovered the natives on America and <laughs> the natives helped them um, grow food and they all had dinner together and everything was so happy and everyone was smiling and everything is okay and they all talked about how thankful they were to have found each other and the end. Okay, that's a lie. That is the biggest fucking lie I have ever heard of in my entire life. Like, you guys, Thanksgiving was a straight massacre. Like, they brutally murdered people and their babies. It was awful. And then they tried to fucking come back and be like, no, 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 we didn't do that. We didn't do any of that. Um, um, you, um, no, we just talked about what we were thankful for. We didn't murder anyone. Why would we do that? Also, really quickly, shameless self-plug. I have made that scrunchie, like, sewed it with my own little sewing machine, finished the middle part by hand, picked out the fabric, everything. It's completely sustainable. If you're interested in buying scrunchies or you like scrunchies or you like other things like pillows or pajama bottoms or really just about anything I can sew, check out my Etsy. My link is in the description box down below. Anyways, back to how Thanksgiving is a scam. So I just think it's like, what a coincidence that Thanksgiving, apparently, according to the history books that you'll find in pretty much any public, public school in America, says that Thanksgiving was all fine and everything was okay and everything is awesome and <laughs> everything was not okay. And now Thanksgiving is like this huge, like, mega industry like every literally every halloween there's thanksgiving stuff give thanks thanksgiving there's like turkeys everywhere the grocery stores get to cash in on the turkeys the fucking like mega farming gets to cash in on the turkey and the chicken and all of the ham and extra food that people are buying for this made up ass holiday that originally started because people would have a surplus because when you garden and grow things sometimes you have an abundance if everyone is gardening and everyone has an abundance after we've already canned everything we can can for the winter until the next gardening season which is like spring then let's all eat this food and have a feast 
because we all are coming in and sharing together. It's not like, oh, let's fucking money grab as much shit as we can get like it is now. And it really hurts my heart. And I feel like a lot of the original shit that like made America America is not what is happening anymore and like oh there's just so much bullshit now and now I'm getting more upset and I literally cannot start talking about anything else that pisses me off with America because I wouldn't be able to stop so yeah enjoy the rest of this video I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup now I know you're not supposed to use your fingers, but I was tired of looking for the little tiny brush that I was looking for. And of course, in true sin fashion, I am running late. So I just had to put that shit on there, okay? Blend, 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 blend. I wanted to put a little bit of green in there. I've been trying to play around with colors more because I've always just done the same basic like neutral look, but it looks pretty. Like if, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But my sweater is green and I wanted to match and my husband also wore green and I thought that would be so cute and I should have taken a picture, but I forgot. So, yep. I didn't want it to be too green because, again, I like a really neutral vibe, but you could definitely tell that it was green, especially with my sweater. Uh -huh, I poked myself in the fucking eye. That shit hurt. I honestly don't know why my camera keeps going in and out of focus. I'm sorry if it bothers you. I haven't figured it out all the way yet. I've only had it since this, like, last April, pretty much. So, yeah. I know, I'm actually putting on mascara today. It's because I put on, like, a bunch of shimmery gold eyeshadow, and since my skin tone is shimmery gold, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm, it's, like, about the same color, so my eyelashes, like, it just didn't look like I had any eyelashes. So I wanted to put a nice coating of bat guana on my eyelids. If you didn't already know that, mascara is made from bat shit. So... Yep, be very careful. <laughs> Yay, all done. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I know this is gross, but I don't have time to find a Q-tip. I'm not at my house and I'm already running late and it's my own spit. So sue me, okay? Like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I think it looks good. Making stupid ass faces. I hate myself. No, I don't. I love myself. I'm awesome. That scrunchie was way too tight on my hair. I'm hella drunk. Also, those are maple leaf earrings. There's my favorite. I should have gotten turkeys, though, but next year. Next year. I'm having drunksgiving right now. Yeah. Is anyone else having drunksgiving? Okay. I'm drunk. You're dressed. Um, I wasn't dressed earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it was just my shoulders up. Whatever. I have titties, okay? <laughs> if you're a woman, you have titties. What What do you want? I also showed my hairy armpits. Oh my God. I don't give a f 
What? People have body hair! <laughs> Do people have body hair or no? Yeah, but no one wants to see certain body hair is left to be. People don't want to see certain body hair or certain people that have fragile egos don't want to see certain body hair. Mom. White society. Um, okay, well, actually, the reason why razor companies started targeting women was because their sales were down because beards were starting to become more popular and the clean shaven look was becoming less popular and they were like, what are we gonna do with all of these razors? And then they were like, oh, Woman having body hair is disgusting. Men hate it. And then women bought into it and fucking 60 years later, now we have to be naked mole rats. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Men don't have to shave their armpit hair. I like these earrings also. I am hella indecisive. Please help a girl out. So these remind me of my childhood. I used to do ballet when I was younger and every Christmas I was in the Nutcracker and I think they're so, so adorable. How cute, they're little reindeers. They're classy, simple, classic. They go with just about anything that I have and they're fucking reindeer. Oh my God, candy canes. Uh, I can't even eat a candy cane and having candy canes in my ear would be like the ultimate Oh my god, I don't even know how to explain it. And they're so adorable, and yeah, candy canes. So, please help. I'm so indecisive. Oh, look at my mustache. Sometimes I trim it, and then sometimes I forget. Whatever. I have body hair, okay? I'm fucking hairy. I'm a mammal. It's not my fault. I'm so drunk. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> oh my god, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you've made it this far, I hope you have a wonderful, scamming ass Thanksgiving and a happy rest of your holidays. Mwah! Bye.